Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's talk Oprah, Love and Marriage Huntsville. One, Love and Marriage Huntsville has been on what? They're on their third, fourth season. The show started off, many people were questioning the husbands, the wives, how the men treated the women, who's cheating, who's not cheating, the men going on trips, what's really going on? Like I said, I know someone on the cast. I'll never mention who it is. Um, I do feel that the women are not shown in a decent light, respectful light from the men. I do feel that the women are kind of, they're interesting, period. There's more going on in the show. There's more going on on Instagram and Twitter than there is going on the show. And it's kind of gone left where people felt that the show allegedly should be canceled. Just way too much going on outside of the show. In regards to posts, in regards to comments, in regards to cast and bloggers, YouTubers, there's just been so much. And many people felt that Carlos should do something. Oprah should do something. It's just becoming, it was becoming too much. And if you don't know, then you know. But if you do know, you know what I'm talking about. In regards to business deals, what's really happening, cease and desist being sent out, people grabbing different reports. I'll just be general, have to be. There's so much going on. And many people say, how does Oprah feel about the show she's putting out and her cast? Because many people would think that Oprah would want People to be decent, loving, respectful to the community. People that they're doing projects for. <sighs> Husband and wives having concerns. How is it that they're, the cast is able to talk about a person and they're not there? And they that person that's not there and that was not on the cast was who Martel was cheating with. And people, some people felt that Martel's other baby mama should have a voice. She should be able to be on the show. If you're going to use her likeness, put her on the show. And then Melody saying, no, you want me or you want her? Allegedly. You want to put the side chick on? Give her a, a, a you know, a, a platform? No, I'm one of the producers. I don't want her here. I don't want her near me, by me. There's a lot of people that really like Melody. There's some people that don't like Melody. There's some people that, some, some, some people that like Martel. There's some people that don't like the Scott brothers. It's been interesting when it took a turn in regards to what Maurice was saying about Kimmy. She was going through a medical issue. That that went viral in regards to give her time to heal. Don't let her be worried about your worries and what you need and what you want. And many people are like, does he have a concern that we're not addressing? Does he feel the need? And if, if, if allegedly, if Kimmy doesn't feel that need for Maurice, will he allege step out? Or do something else because of ledge, there's all these cheating rumors. Then we have the Scott, Marceau, and Tisha. Business stuff, business good deals, maybe not so good deals. What's really going on behind the scene? Our projects being completed allegedly, our cease and desist being sent out to keep people sh quiet. There's so much going on. And that's why I posted this because when I listened to Oprah's video about them and congratulating them 
people are kind of giving Carlos a side eye and Oprah a side eye because they're saying the show is slightly toxic. There was like a blackout. People were saying, don't watch the show. Don't support them. There's just too much going on outside of the sh show. That's not Carlos, you know, it's out of Carlos control because they have lives outside of the show. But then they were like, should they post as much? And of course, the, the posting on Instagram, Twitter made the show even more successful. And then people were kind of texting Carlos and texting Melody and texting Martel. How do we do what you guys have done? Of course, Melody has businesses. People question Martel being able to pass the test. Question about him and Sheree's relationship. There's just so much that's gone on. So let's listen to Oprah. I'm going to try and make this video short. Let's listen to Oprah and what she had to say about the show. And let me know in the comments, do you like Love and Marriage Huntsville? Do you like Carlos King shows? This is the one show I question. Love and Marriage Detroit, I like. Now, some of the relationships are questionable. Some of what the men are doing are questionable. But Love and Marriage Huntsville, let me know in the comments, do you like it? Let's listen. Hey, I just want to say to Carlos King, ITV, and the entire Kingdom Reign family, the phenomenal cast all of you fans, thank you for 100, yes, 100 episodes of Love and Marriage Huntsville. It is a joy for all of us at home to showcase high-powered black couples who come together to revitalize their community. They really have put Huntsville on the map. And so thank you for watching these couples, these friends, and sometimes these friendemies as they laugh through the good times and Seriously, cry through the bad times and throw the occasional shade, all while doing their best to support one another along the way. Cheers to 100 episodes and many more to come of the show we all love, Love and Marriage Huntsville. So let me know in the comments how you feel about, sorry about the swiping, um, but Carlos King has reached 100K. Congratulations to Carlos. So let me know, do you watch Love and Marriage Huntsville, Love and Marriage DC, Love and Marriage Detroit? Are you a Carlos King supporter? Do you feel that Love and Marriage D Huntsville should be recast to get a fresh cast and reboot? Or are you okay with Martel Melody, Marceau, Tisha, Marceau, sorry, Marceau, Tisha, Maurice and Kimmy. Let me know. And then, of course, they have friends that are on the show as well. But well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.